Refresh. Refresh. Like I said, there's gonna be a little bit of an abbreviated stream today. We got Wald. Yo, Amiga love. So much love. So much Amiga love. Great to see you. It's gonna be a short and sweet stream today. I always say that, but today is really gonna be short and sweet because I got Wog meeting tonight, man, and that was just the whole purpose of the stream. I was gonna do this anyway. And I was like, you know what? I might as well stream it. OS 3.1.4. Wow. Almost ready here, everyone. Almost ready. I'm just gonna get a little sip of kombucha and we're gonna we're gonna get the party started. Akmafan, what's up, dude? Zanzian01 in the house. This is awesome. Lamakala, how's it going? Hey, Vixie Pixel Vixen, how's it going? Svinto777, how's it going? Stewies is here, Captain Crunch 490. Let's just let's just get this party started. I, let's just get this party started. Yo, Pierre, getting doing your walk walk prep, watching me do my walk prep. It's awesome. Roar, what's up, buddy? Oh man, I'm so excited to see everyone here today. Let's uh, let's get this party started. We are here, everyone. How's it going? Great to see everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Today was an impromptu stream. I was not really planning on streaming today, but here I am. Um, you know, tonight is a WOG meeting, and there was obviously the biggest news, biggest news in town, right, is Amiga OS 3.1.4 was released. And I was debating, like, should I download it? You know, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? I'm like, yeah, of course I should do it because I want to share it with uh, everyone who follows me here. And of course, I want to share it uh, with everyone who comes to the WOG meetings. So I bought it and we're going to we're going to just do like a little install. I need to install it, you know, for, for the folks at WOG. Um, so I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to stream it. <laughs> just going to stream it. Yo, Mazza, how's it going, dude? My new buddy, my new Fortnite buddy. Crimson SD, how's it going, dude? Yo, the Retro Man Cave. What's up, brother? Great to see you. Yes, I hope the mix is all right. So first up in Amiga News, guys. First up in Amiga News, let's go to check out the news. I mean, of course, 3.1.4 is released, but um, we have other, other sad news, man. Uh, ben Daglish uh, has passed away. It happened yesterday. Um, we'll read this little bit of news from Eurogamer.net. Uh, people are paying tributes all around the world to Ben Daglish, a 1980s video game music legend who has died at 52. Man, that is just just way, way, way too young. Uh, from what I heard, he was a great guy as well. Um, so, it's very, very sad news. Um, so, he, uh, he composed the music for a number of games released in the 1980s, including Cobra, Trap, The Last Ninja, and Deflector. On all three major 8-bit computers at the time, Commodore 64, ZX, Spectrum, and Amstrad CPC. According to a message from Sarah, Ben Daglish's wife posted to Facebook, the composer died on October 1st. Okay, um, associated, complications associated with cancer. That's just F cancer, man. You know, my buddy uh, Dan Roganti, uh, we, we did a little tribute to him not too long ago. Uh, cancer got him, but he put up a brave fight. This is just really sad news, man. Um, super, super sad news. And look, I'm, I'm drinking my kombucha with the top on. Um, Raya XNB, what are your thoughts on all the versions of Amiga OS? We'll get into that in a second, man. We'll, we'll definitely get into, into it. We'll get into it in a second. That's what today's stream is kind of about. <laughs> Stuart, you saw Dan and Robbie post about it? Yeah, terrible news. Guys, guys here's... um, I'm going to post this link into the chat. Uh-huh. There's uh, Ben Daglish tribute, and now we're obviously going to play Ben Daglish music all throughout the day today. So there's this mix on YouTube that I found. Uh, I'm going to put this in the chat as well, uh, so you guys can listen on your own time. Uh, 
Um, and also, you know, this is really, really interesting, guys. Oh, now what I do? <laughs> I closed my chat. Um, I can open it again. Uh, this is also really interesting. Uh, my friends over at Riot Retro Gaming, uh, you know, they also stream once a week every Wednesday night. Uh, those guys actually did an interview uh, with Ben Daglish not too long ago. Uh, there they are interviewing him. Uh, when when did they stream this? March seventh. They streamed they streamed it live. They did a live interview with Ben back on March seventh. So let me share this with you as well. Uh, Riot Retro Man. I was playing Fortnite with them last night on their stream. It was really really fun. We'll do that again next week. Um, let's see. So Riot. Haze Maker. What I do wrong here? My, my, my notifications were all crazy. Boom, there you guys go. There's the link to, um, to Riot Retro's, um, interview with Ben Dago. It's just a good one, man. You guys, you guys should all check it out. Um, what I missed. Yo, Hazemaker, the Purple Hazemaker 64. Thank you for the host, brother. Great to see you as always, my man. Um... Yeah, I know, right? Sanzina, I was just like shocked as well. It's totally shocked, man. Very, very sad. So we're gonna be playing, you know, all's music on this uh, this Ben Daglish mix here that uh, found on YouTube by my C64 Music. Hey, that that sounds like a good channel. I'm gonna subscribe to him. <laughs> um, cool. So yeah, so yeah, very, very sad news, man. Very, very, very sad news. Yo, Retro Bench, how's it going, man? Great to see you. Testing my alerts. It's good. I don't understand why, Hazemaker. I don't understand why, like, the size of the alerts change. <laughs> Something, I don't know, some some OBS, some OBS stuff. Yo, Twisted1981, you hear it in Amiga Bill stream at last. Guys, today's stream's gonna be a little bit different, man. Usually, like, we play games, but I just need to, like, prep Amiga OS 3.1.4 for my walk meeting tonight. So, it's gonna be a quick stream, man. I think I'm only gonna go, like, an hour and a half. Maybe, maybe we'll play a game. I don't even have my Amiga hooked up right now, but I can, it takes two seconds to hook it up. Um, so if you guys want, you know, if we get through the Amiga installation, the 3.1.4 installation quickly, then um, we'll play a game. But I don't have too much time for games, you know. I got I got, I got a meeting to go to tonight. <laughs> so um, so yeah, yeah, crazy stuff. I love it when everyone just comes here and hangs out, man. That's just so cool. So let's continue. Let's continue with the Amiga news here, everyone. Um, First, you know, first order of business was that uh, Ben Daglish passed away. Very, very sad news. We'll be listening to his music uh, all stream. It's a perfect stream for music, right? Because we're not going to be playing game music, you know. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be installing Workbench 314 uh, via emulation. I'm not gonna install it on my real 1200 yet, and we'll we'll get into that. I'm doing it. I'm gonna install it via emulation for two reasons. One is like I always like to practice uh, with stuff like this first with emulation. It's a great use of emulation, so it doesn't mess up like my real 1200. Also, the meetings, when we have our log meetings, right, we meet in the food court <laughs> of a mall. So, unfortunately, uh, I can't bring my real Amiga there. I just bring my laptop there. So, that's another reason why, another good reason for emulation, right? Um, the Frizzle 3.2 forever. I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a 3.1 guy, to be honest with you. Twisted fingers crossed the install goes well. We'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> Vicky, it's so good to see. I know so many familiar names, right? I just, I just love coming here, and I got all these streams are just about hanging out with my friends. Tonight, I got a WOG meeting, Westchester Amiga User Group, man. We meet on the first Thursday of every month, White Plains, New York, 35 minutes north of New York City, and you know all my friends get together and we hang out, talk Amiga, go out for beers and food afterwards. It's a great time. But this is like hanging out, you know, virtually. This is all my my international friends are here now, and even one of my. My WOG members, Pierre, is here. He's got something to show tonight. He's going to surprise me. I don't know what Pierre is going to show tonight, but I'm super excited about it. He knows what I'm going to show because we're about to spill the beans. <laughs> oh, Hazemaker, 40 tomorrow? I mean, like 40 meaning like you turn 40 tomorrow? That's crazy, man. I'm 43. Happy birthday, Hazemaker. I didn't know. I didn't know. I would have planned a little birthday for you. <laughs> Well, happy birthday, Hazemaker, man. Thanks again for all your support, dude. It's, it's an absolute pleasure to have you, as always, as well as everyone else in the stream. Sanzine, I don't know what the trap demo is. Brother Bill, I can't, I can't move WOG. I can't move WOG to North Carolina. It, you can make a new WOG in North Carolina. 
<laughs> but I can't move. I can't move. Uh, can't move. 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 Walk. Then it wouldn't be walk anymore. Haze maker. Yeah. Don't jump the gun yet, man. Let him. Let him enjoy his thirties. Let him enjoy the last few hours of his thirties. <laughs> oh. Oh. Got you. That's where the music is from. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. This is so. We're listening to the Ben uh, Daglish mix. So it's just like all his games. It's a one-hour mix of uh, the music that I did for all his uh, Commodore 64 games. So. And maybe there's more too. I don't know. I didn't listen to this whole mix yet. I just figured it was it was good background music for the for the stream. Thank you for the link, Sanzian. It's great to see you. No one seems to remember the Amiga OS 3.2 demo in 1995. Too bad, or thankfully, the Walker failed with Amiga Tech. Oh yeah, 3.2 I guess was for the Walker. That thing it was kind of cool looking though, right? It was kind of like the. Uh, the Mac Cube, right? Something like that. <laughs> it was a cool, kind of cool design. Anyway, let's keep moving on with the news because, um, I, like I said, today's stream is going to be a little bit shorter because I got, I got a deadline today. I got a deadline. We got to get to, uh, we got to get to Wog. Um, and other Amiga news. We've posted a video. Speaking of Wog, we've posted a video. Um, we we're really lucky to get. Um, a, a look at the Vampire V4. Um, Manny from the Apollo team uh, is in WOG, and he's got the only one in North America right now. So he came and demoed it for us, and it was it was an awesome it was an awesome WOG meeting. Um, it's always it's always great to have like hands-on experience with this stuff. Um, so I just I was gonna stream this meeting, but the internet there is a little a little sketchy. So I decided just to do it on YouTube instead, and I think I think it worked out for the best, you know. Um, this way I'm able to like put in b-roll Manny gave me lots of good b-roll of the games we played essentially the whole meeting is about like um, turning your Amiga 500 into a CD32 right so he uses the the vampire and um, and connects a CD-ROM drive to it and uh, we play CD32 games which is super cool because now you can have like Amiga graphics uh, and vampire graphics out of HDMI um, unfortunately you can't have high res Amiga graphics yet over the HDMI so that's something they gotta work on because for me you know like playing the games is cool but for me I, I'd want I want my D-Paint in high res <laughs> but they're working on it man it's a really cool device so let me throw, throw the link to this video in the chat for y'all guru boom there you go there's the link to the video it's uh, about 30 minutes. It came out good, man. It came out good. Good, good little video. Um, Brother Bill's trying to create a new a new DOS bunker down there. Nice. Um, hey, Zed Beeble Brocks. How's it going, man? I'm great. I'm so good today. Like, WOG, WOG days are the best days. WOG, Westchester Media User Group. First Thursday of every month is, like, the best day, right? And today's huge. Today's a big day, guys. Like... Um, the, the New York Rangers start their season today, which is awesome. I love hockey. Um, and, oh, the thing I shot last week, man, I shot the opening to the Major League Baseball playoffs. It was a really, really fun job. And it airs tonight, man. I'm going to be at WOG when it airs, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm not going to see it live in a bar. But it airs again on Sunday. Um, so I'm going to watch it on Sunday. But, yeah, if you watch if you watch the game tonight on MLB Network, you'll see, you'll see my handiwork. Uh, so that's super, super exciting. So today is a great day. Today is a great day. Thank you for asking, uh, Zed. Oh, uh, feel free to join me on Saturday. 12-hour stream starting as soon as I got over Friday night hangover. Nice, Hazemaker. I'll definitely try and, and uh, tune in on Saturday. That's awesome, Hazemaker. Everyone, go follow Hazemaker64 here on Twitch. He's a great guy. He does uh, Commodore 64 stuff. He does Amiga stuff. He is the, the father of the, the Commodore, the former Commodore community here on, on Twitch. Uh, really good guy. Uh, huge supporter of this channel. Uh, so, yeah, dude, I'll join you Saturday. That sounds great. Go, go, just click on his name right there, Hazemaker64, give him a follow. Oh, great video, thanks, Sansy, and I appreciate it. Stuart Johnson, don't mean to create any controversy, but I think the C64 version of Last Ninja is better. Uh, fair enough, dude, fair enough, no controversy. I think sometimes games are, you know, some games are better on the 64, man, there, there's no, no question about that. Roar, love the new video, I have to get the standalone, any news on that? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. I'm glad you liked the video. Um, no, there's no no news on the standalone. I have no idea when it's coming out. I asked Manny many times, and he doesn't know either, to be honest with you. He's just more of like, he, he does like beta testing for them and product demonstrations, but he's not one of the guys that's actually making it. So he's he's anxiously awaiting to you, but I'm, I'm guessing that the standalone is the next step in the process because as you can see, like the, the Vampire V4 in this 500 is like almost a standalone already. 
like it's only using the Amiga 500 for I.O. at this point. It was just using like the keyboard, the floppy disk, which we didn't actually use the meeting, but the floppy disk was active, and the mouse and joystick port. Uh, other than that, Vampire was doing everything else. So I'm thinking the standalone's next, and then we'll get into stuff like the Vampire for the 1200. I, that's not based on any information. <laughs> that's just based on what I've observed and my, my guess. Uh, Crimson Steve, that was a cool video on the Vampire card. Looks very interesting. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Intruder PS, how's it going, dude? Great to see you. Uh, Retro Man Cave says, Bill, can I make a Ben Daglish request? Of course you can, Retro Man Cave. Of course you can. The Last Ninja one, too, is a. Yeah, I never thought. I mean, I know Last Ninja's on the Amiga, but it wasn't one of, like, my classic Amiga games. You know what I mean? Yo, Amex312, how's it going, buddy? Great to see you. Arnouge, how's it going? <laughs> Two streams, two Amiga streams at once. I know, I saw Johnny I go on right before I started. I was bummed. I, but, you know, we can't plan these things out. Tell Johnny I said hi. Uh, this is the only time I can stream this week, so. And I have to get ready for a walk anyway. Amiga Love, NHL coming to Seattle. Dude, yeah, and, I mean, hopefully you guys have as much luck as the as Vegas did, right? <laughs> that was pretty awesome. The Frizzle, you're waiting for the standalone vampire. Maybe in the Checkmate Plus case I'm getting, or the A1222. Yeah, I'm going, yeah. The, the, uh, the Checkmate 1500 case or like the new uh, A1200 Net 500 cases. Awesome choices for the new vampire. Awesome choices. You ain't no C64 streamer for ages, not the same. That's hilarious. Vixie, Vicky has got 50 more photos to process than uh, she's done for the evening trying to concentrate. All right, Vicky, you can, you can turn down the volume if you want. <laughs> it's great to see you, Vicky. Keep working hard. I like it. Yeah, Brother Bill. They're doing it on their own time. It's their spare job. So we'll see. We'll see how long it takes them. I'm not in any rush. Yeah, we have to be patient. You're right. Akmafin's acting up over there. Zed, awesome news about your MLB work. I'd love to watch it, but I fear it's difficult from Germany. I hope it will be available online soon. Yeah, Zed, as soon as I get a copy, I'll post it online for you guys. This is really cool, man. It's all about art and artists. And some of the artists, I pretty much, I'm pretty sure they actually got their early start on Amiga 2. Um, that's what I heard through the director, but I'm not 100% sure if that's accurate. But it's really cool. It's all about um, graffiti artists. And uh, we had them like, I'm not really supposed to say it yet, I guess, because it doesn't air for another couple hours. But it's all about graffiti artists. <laughs> and there's lots of CGI involved as well. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Retro Man Cave says, uh, This is a remix of Ben Daglish's Death Wish 3 soundtrack, and it'll blow your mind. Uh, let's, let's fire it up. Retro Blah! Show us 3.1.4. What's up, Seb? How's it going, Sebastian? We're gonna, we're gonna check it out in a second. I'm just doing my Amiga News section. Hazemaker, I have no idea how to say that. Uh, Vicky, you need, you need, uh, no worries. Oh, nice, you went to a wedding? Sweet! No worries, Vicky, the Amiga will still be there, you know? You gotta get, get your work done first, and then an Amiga will be there for you. Toa Folkman, how's it going, buddy? All right, let's let's put on. Um, let me just give this a pause. We'll put on Retro Man Cave's mix uh, request. I do requests. I do requests. Whatever Retro Man Cave wants, Retro Man Cave gets. I have a, I have a hunch it's going to be a great suggestion. Let's see. Let's see. Trippy. Jost80, how's it going, dude? Great to see you. Looks like this was shot with the Phantom. <laughs> I love, I love the visuals here. This is pretty rad. Look, some color bars. Did I, did I just, like, drop some acid? <laughs> Hazemaker64, thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm talking over this stuff. I, I just, um, 
I've got a lot to do today, but thank you for the suggestion, Retro Man Cave. You rock, dude. Hazemaker, thank you for the sub, dude. You're too too generous and too kind, man. Thank you so much, Hazemaker, and happy birthday. I'll hit you up with a sub on Saturday, man. Amiga, love you. Want me to introduce the tracks at your best? <laughs> Now playing Ben Daglish, the last ninja. <laughs> I hope the mix is good. I, I lowered the music a little bit because that other track I was playing it was like pretty harsh, and I was afraid you weren't going to be able to hear me. This is totally trippy, and I like it. This is crazy. Retro Man Cave, thanks for this. This is awesome, dude. I knew it'd be awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, Super Mario Brothers on acid. I was gonna keep going, but I'm so into this right now. How long is it? Oh, it's almost over anyway. Let's just finish it out. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! Dude, that was nuts. That was nuts. Thank you, Retro Man Cave, for the suggestion. That was awesome, dude. Um, you guys already, I'm sure you already know Retro Man Cave, but if you don't, you gotta go over to YouTube right now and subscribe to the Retro Man Cave. Uh, awesome, awesome, amazing, amazing channel. Does all kinds of retro stuff, Amiga stuff, Commodore stuff, you know, the ZX stuff. <laughs> Lots of trash to treasure stuff, which is awesome. Does live streams over there. Retro Man Cave is is the man in the cave. <laughs> the man in the retro cave. So go give, go give Retro Man Cave some love if you don't already. But that was an awesome suggestion. Thank you. I'm going to switch back to this. That was fun and unexpected. All right, back on track here, guys. <laughs> All right, so we got the we got the um, Wog Vampire issue. Hold on, let me catch up on the chat. Sorry about that. Uh, Akmafin, I did just cross a thousand followers. That's really really cool. I mean, to me, numbers are first of all, it's amazing. I'm so so thankful for everyone who followed. That's just awesome. I just don't want to make like too much of a big deal about it because for me, it's all about quality, not quantity. And I'm just so lucky that everyone who comes here is so cool and so friendly and so nice. That's all that matters to me. Like. It doesn't matter if I had like 10 followers or 10,000 followers. The bottom line is everyone who comes here is awesome. You're all my friends and I have a great time doing this. So it is very cool to have a thousand followers. It's awesome and I appreciate the support very much. But when it comes to numbers, man, I just, 
it's just a number, you know what I mean? It's all about the quality, the quality of the people. And let me tell you something, I got, I got the best quality people over here and on YouTube, man. I'm, I'm so lucky. Yeah, Cramsonist, that was, that was interesting, right? Hey, Mr. Immortal, how's it going, dude? Great to see you. Jamie Morgan, how's it going, my man? Mr. Immortal, get a drink, man. Awesome. Hey, Mix, I'll drop the link for you again in a second. Talk about Sonic Glitch or Hilarious. AP Steinmetz, how's it going, my man? What's up, Art? Great to see you. You're watching over a cell signal on a train, so you can't tell whether the video is supposed to look trippy or I just have a bad signal. It was trippy. It was trip trippy art. Great to see you, brother. Hope all is well. Stewie's awesome videos. Never seen keyframe glitching used so creatively before. It was really cool. It was really cool. Really cool. Thanks, Retro Man Cave. I appreciate it, bud. Thanks for the, the suggestion and thanks for the uh, and thanks for the congrats on the 1K. 1K is always like a number. It's, a, it's kind of a good number, right? Because when Anthony and I started the Guru Meditation, it was like, can you imagine if we ever get a thousand people to follow us? <laughs> like, that'd be crazy. And then, like, we did. We got a thousand people. We had a party. And it's like, that's it, man. Everything else is just icing. You know what I mean? And it, because it, like, you have to, like, it, getting, like, all, like, followers and subs, there's a game to it. You know, there's algorithms. Over here on Twitch, like, 95% of the people that are going to follow you are going to follow you when you're actually streaming. Unlike YouTube, where you can build up a following when you're not. You're not streaming or you know when you not posting a video <laughs> um, so there's just like getting followers is a game into it in of itself and I'm not really into that game man I just like want to like post cool stuff whenever I want to post it screw the algorithm you know what I mean and like I'll stream when I can I do the best I can and the bottom line is like everyone who comes to support me on YouTube or here on, on Twitch it's just I'm extremely thankful for and I'm just so lucky that I've met so many cool people doing this man speaking of followers Zed Bezelbrox, thank you for the follow, my man. I think you know who I am. I think you already know who I am. I usually stream Amiga stuff from Real Amigas. Today we're gonna do a little emulation, um, and today's a great, a great, a great use of emulation. Um, but yeah, I stream once a week here on on Twitch. I try to at least. I try to. Um, and you never know when I'm gonna stream because I'm a moving target. But I'm liking this later time. I'm liking this later time. You know what I mean? Mr. Immortal, I just joined the gang, but I'm feeling the good vibes. Mr. Immortal, yeah, everyone here is welcome. You know, that's what everyone here is like. Anyone is welcome to come here and hang out. Everyone's super, super cool. If everyone comes here, and I've been lucky. Like, I haven't had any clunkers coming here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ari, Ari, we're gonna play some more. We're gonna play some more Fortnite. I promise. RC man, you rock, dude. You're a cool cat, man. Screw the algorithm, Haze Maker. You know it. Nice, guys. How long ago did I start streaming? I started at 4 o'clock, so 30 minutes ago, Mr. Immortal. Brother Bill says, when it turns into a competition or income, it takes away from the fun you have. It's totally true, man. Yeah, I'm lucky, man. I got the best job in the world. Like, it's cool. Like, if you want to become, like, a YouTuber or something, that's awesome. Like, hey, what a, that is a really cool job. You know, that's, why well, that's, that's, like, that's great if you can sustain yourself on YouTube, but... I love my job so much, like, I, I'd much rather do my job than, than be a YouTuber. I like to throw videos up on YouTube, but I'm, I'm really lucky to have, like, if I could pick any job in the world to do, like, it'd be the one I have now, so I'm just, like, super, super lucky. Our new Vampire 4, new Checkmate case, Amiga is so alive and kicking, it sure is. You're gonna set a reminder in your calendar? Mr. Immortal, the, th the problem is, the problem is... The problem is, um, I, st I don't stream on a, I don't have a regular streaming schedule. See, there's another another strategy, right? Stream frequently and have a regular schedule. That's if you want to be successful on Twitch, on Twitch, you know. But I do neither. I don't stream frequently and I don't have a regular schedule. <laughs> so it's amazing that I still have like a thousand followers. It's hilarious. Maze maker. No, she doesn't know. It's our secret. <laughs> People think it'd be nice to have a job that's also your hobby, but that's not always the case. It's true, it's true. Because, you know, sometimes it is the case. Sometimes it is very cool to have a job that is also your hobby. But sometimes your hobby should just be your hobby to take your mind off things, you know what I mean? Later time is a bit worse for most of us in Europe. I know, I know, Toa. It's just today I had to go later because I was working today. Twisted likes it, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Mr. Mortal, check the disc. I know. I got a Discord here. Let me just let me just hide it for a second because now it's, it's on my screen. Stream. I don't know. I'm, I mean, everyone on my Discord's cool, but I don't know if it's a private message. And I don't want. If someone sends me a private message, I don't want that. I don't want that. Um. On uh, 
I don't want that on stream. Alright, cool. We're good. Alright, moving on, moving on. <laughs> I gotta move here, I gotta move. This is... Let's see. So, as I mentioned before, tonight is our Westchester Amiga Uzu meeting. It's in like two hours. <laughs> so, I gotta, I gotta hustle. I gotta hustle to stream here. Oh, weird. This is so weird. Yeah, I do own this website. It's all good. I, I don't know what happened to my map. But tonight, we got our WOG meeting. Gallery, Gallery Mall Food Court, White Plains, New York. 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, I'm gonna demo what we're about to do. <laughs> so, you're gonna see it here first. You're gonna see it here first. If you guys wanna know when, when WOG meets, man, just do exclamation mark WOG. Or you can go to gurumeditation.org slash events, man. Twisted, I would go I would go to Bora in the checkmate case personally. There you go, there you go, there you go, Pierre. Nice, thank you, Pierre. Brother Bill loves the WOG newsletter, nice. Uh, yeah, the vlog, I have to update it. The last newsletter I posted on this website is July. I just saw that before. That's bad. Bad Billy. I'll fix that. That's why you gotta come to the meetings. Come to the meetings and you get the hard copy. You get the hard copy of the vlog newsletter. Alright, keep moving along here. Um, Ben Daglish, sad news. Uh, Vampire V4 video, check. Guru Meditation, uh, we got, um, vlog meeting tonight, check. Amiga OS 3.1.4, I'm not really gonna talk about it now because we're gonna, we're gonna get into it in full depth in a second. Um, but also... This was also released, guys. Best workbench. So I'm super psyched to try this out as well. I haven't I haven't tried it out yet, but best workbench is a new workbench pack, much like better workbench. It aims to be much like an enhancement, an updated extension to Amiga OS 3.1.4 without all those hardware penalties typically associated with these kinds of packs. It is indeed a better 3.14 than 3.14 itself. So I, this I, I'm like I just installed 314 for the first time today so this is something I'm actually I'm definitely gonna try I'm not gonna have time to do it today you know, or in the stream or in the meeting but something I will do um, but yeah so we got some features here it's got a find a finder tool which is cool a find system tool awesome new and improved data types for GIF JPEG BMP PNG PCX target TIFF and wave media that's awesome new removable media partition mounter SCSI mounter cool new system snooper and new snoop DOS uh, fast and easy to use floppy disk copier application, the Super Duper. I remember Super Duper. Uh, libraries for CPU support and better hardware detection. A file manager to move, copy, and delete files. Dir work. We'll see how that compares to directory opus. Lots of handy commodities that make user experience much more comfortable. Grab IFF, assign wedge, clever win, free wheel, rewinsy, tools menu, twos alias, new mode, Y start, DOS preps, bench trash, power snap. Cron Task, PM, and Magic Menu, oh my god. 58 additional printer drivers, complimentary commands like Admem, DMS, Workbench Control, and Showboard, Zip, and Jazz Drive support. May I whip out my Zip Drive again? <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, wow, so lots of, lot, wow, but these are really, really cool. Uh, the popular LHA, LZX, GZIP, and Zip Undip archiver commands are installed in their latest incarnation. That is awesome. Compact disc audio player support with lots of great features. MIDI support for many programs with um, CAMD library and the MIDI ports preference application. New graphical interface lets you read and write back 80. This is cool. This is something I'm, because I, I uh, this is really cool. Uh, this is something that's very, very exciting for me because I use ADF files a lot on my 1200 without, and I want to open them up, right, without actually making a floppy disk of them. So I use, um, I use a program now that's cool. It works. It works. It's just like a little bit cumbersome to use. It's, it's very minimal, but, but it's cool. But this one is cool. TS GUI. New graphical interface that lets you read and write back ADF and DMS floppy images. That's cool. I can't wait to play with that. There's, I'm, there's just, wow. Iconlib 46.4. Is a fast icon library and reimplementation that allows you to see all types of icons. Sweet, sweet. A new text viewer. So guys, this is awesome. I can't wait to play with this. Best WB. I'm gonna copy this for y'all and put it in the in the in the chat. Dude, I can't wait to play with that. That is sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So much new stuff. It's amazing, right?
Hazemaker might start the West London Commodore group. Another C64 streamer lives nearby. Oh, Hazemaker, that's awesome. And that's one of the things like I wish from all my streams and like Westchester Media's group and all the group meditation videos. I just want to inspire other people to do something like that, you know? The more the more streamers we have, the more Amiga YouTubers we have, the more Amiga user groups we have, the better chance of, of the Amiga surviving, you know? I I I just I wanna see as many like Amiga streamers and YouTube uh, creators and user groups as possible. That's that's how we that's one of the ways to keep it alive, you know? Mr. Immortal, yeah, there you go, dude. Best workbench, sweet. Mr. Immortal, where can you get an Amiga? Uh, eBay. eBay's your best bet right now. I mean, here in the States, probably. Uh, also, um, uh, uh, what is it? The, uh, <laughs> there's a, a Ami, my god, sometimes my brain just stops working. Uh, Ami Bay. Ami Bay, as well. Amiga Bill, does it, uh, Roar says, does the new workbench take up more chip mem? Yeah, it sounds like it does. Especially if you put it on a real Amiga and you have to do a um, do a soft kick on it. Andy Amiga Seven, how's it going, brother? Andy Amiga Seven, are you Andy from Wog? No problem, Zed. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, glad you. I'm glad it'll help you. I'm gonna check. I can't wait to check it out. Commodore missionaries from the UK. <laughs> I'm not gonna read your acronym there, Haze Maker. That's awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, the purple Haze Maker. I love you, man. Awesome, Andy. I hope I see you tonight, dude. Wog is in the house. Wog is in the stream. All right, next up, we got Best Workbench. Um, what else we got going? Oh, guys, check this out. This is rad. Uh, Team 17 has just started posting uh, this blog post. It's like they're to celebrate their um, their anniversary. Um, they're doing, oh, to celebrate their anniversary of their 100 games, they're doing like a whole retrospective, right? So, of course, like all their first games were Amiga games. So here we go, check it out, like game one, Full Contact. And they have like really cool information about all the games. Full Contact, Alien Breed, Project X, Assassin, Alien Breed Special Edition. Go to page two, uh, with, uh, where's the page two? I don't know, page two. I know this is page two. Well, th let's put it this way, this is page one. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't know what page two. Maybe they didn't make page two yet. We'll see. But check this out. This is, this is a really cool, really, really cool stuff, man. Team seventeen, team seventeen blog. History blog. Uh, Crimson D, if you soft kick, doesn't that put OS into fast RAM? It might, it may, Crimson is. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't soft kicked it yet. Um, but I think you're right. I think you are right. Um, I don't know why my, my, uh, my Discord is not in, uh, in streamer mode. I apologize for that. What's this? Oh, no, no, no. My cat is ripping my chair apart. <laughs> the music in full contact is so good. It is, Mr. Immortal. Skynet Amiga, how's it going, dude? Great to see you. All right, let's continue with the news. My cat, my cat's hungry. She's got a worm. She's got, she's got a big worm in her tummy, so she's eating a lot. I gotta take her to the vet tomorrow. Um, this came out. It's on the bottom of the page. Okay, yeah, I knew there was a page too. <laughs> um, yeah. So Neil from Indie Retro News, uh, he posted this on EAB, there's a new version of iGame out. iGame is like a front end, right, for your WHD load games. It makes it like real nice and easy to select your games. I don't use it, but this looks really cool. I might, I, I might, I might give this version a try. This is like a complete redo of it. And here's the link uh, all about iGame 2. My, my wife just came to the rescue. She took the cat, took the cat out. Let me uh, put this in the chat for you. Uh, also from Indie Retro News, this is exciting. So one of my all-time favorite. This is like people ask me like what my favorite Amiga game is. This is definitely like one of my favorites and one of my early Amiga 500 games, Barbarian. Um, so they are making like Barbarian Plus, which is like an enhanced version of Barbarian, and this is like super super exciting. So um, I can't remember the guy's name who's doing it. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. Um, 
Colin Vell, there he is. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Colin Colin is doing this great port of um, Barbarian. Let me see if I can change my... You know, I'm going to turn off my Discord. I don't need it on right now. Just because um, it, it should have streamer mode on, you know? I don't understand why. Why I don't have streamer mode. Let me just close the Discord for now. I like the Discord because it shows me that um, I'm streaming, but Amiga took preference there. Okay, cool. Let's come back. So let's check it out, man. He posted a video of the new Barbarian Plus. Well, it's four minutes long, and time is ticking, so I don't. We can't watch the whole thing. But it looks rad. Looks awesome. Now it says it's running slow, and it won't. When it actually comes out, it won't run slow. But that's cool. It's just the graphics look great. You know, what, let me just mute. Let me just mute the music for a second. Uh, the sounds in this game have always, were always great. Mr. Morley played the first Barbarian a lot? Yeah. Mondal, that's a freaking Frazetta painting. Yeah, it is, right? Mr. Morley, do you guys remember Psygnosis' is Barbarian, which is completely different? Yeah, we played it, man. We played it. This was actually called Death Sword in uh, in the United States. I know it's called Barbarian in in Europe, but here in the States, this game was called Death Sword, um, and Barbarian was the Psygnosis version. I, I played it here on stream. I it was one that was also one of my first Amiga games. That's right. After you, <laughs> I remember it, it's so funny because like when you used to you could like do this this death move in this in this game where you'd cut the guy's head off, and that little gnome guy would like kick the head and the head would like roll off the screen and then he would like drag the body off the screen it was just awesome amiga love says yeah there amiga love knows what's up man <laughs> man i hope that lizard goblin dude still comes out and chuckles after the head chop let's see <laughs> yeah, yeah he did used to kick it it was hilarious Twisted 1981, the game looks great. So lucky with the development going on at the moment. Twisted is right, man. We are so lucky to have so many like cool Amiga developments happening. And this, and again, this is just a dude with a passion project, you know? This is just awesome. It looks cool, right, Retro Man Cave? Mr. Immortal, this is not Fairy Tale Adventure. <laughs> I love Fairy Tale Adventure, though. I still I still have like my Fairy Tale Adventure like map. I love games that come up maps and like pieces. I love that. Yeah, this looks super sweet. I want to see. I want to see if anyone gets decapitated. Nope, no decapitation there. Good, they left in the prepare to die. The decapitation was like the best part of this game. You cut the guy's head off, and then the gnome comes out, kicks it across the screen, and drags the body off. That was amazing. Yo, Amiga twelve hundred gamer, how's it going, buddy? Great to see you. Always a pleasure, my man. Thank you for all the help today I'll be talking about you in a second roar yeah the, the backgrounds look beautiful don't they they're really really nice roar Stewie says the spooky red eyes and scopes in the background are a nice touch yeah totally totally the graphics look awesome the gray guy is zombie skin yeah it's funny because someone commented that this is running slow and Colin confirmed that but it looks fast to me like I don't remember the original being that fast to be honest with you Oh yeah, that's a good look at Pierre. Look at Pierre. Pierre, see that little guy down there? Th this little guy right there? One of the little guys from another world. Yo, the horse. What's up, dude? Horse, I'm so psyched to get back on my bike. I'm just so I feel so good and I'm so happy about it. I can't. I'm gonna ride this weekend, horse. I can't. I can't wait. I'm sorry. I hope your ribs are feeling better, dude. It was awesome playing last night. I was playing a little Fortnite with the horse and Anthony and the guys from Riot Retro Gaming. I just mentioned you guys. I mentioned your Ben Daglish interview. 
Um, yeah, we were playing some Fortnite last night. I've been playing some Fortnite with Air Yuri, the Amiga Bill mascot, and Acma Finn. Uh, <laughs> I'm terrible at Fortnite. But, yeah, so, guys, sorry I had to bail last night. But um, you guys were all dead, and I was, like, running around. And then uh, my wife was in a bit of a jam, and she needed me. It was, like, a bit of an emergency situation, so I had to I had to bail. I would have carried us, though. I would have got us the chicken dinner. <laughs> Not. <laughs> all right, moving along. Moving along here. What else is going on? Aquafin says the C64 version was better. You know, I never played the 64 version of Death Sword or, or Barbarian. Let me play the music. Speaking of Ben, let's play some more Ben music. Mr. Immortal, as a kid, you went into an Amiga store and the owner loved Fairy Tale Adventure. My dad printed a map for me and the owner in the store drew it for me. I had to best get through the maze forest in the upper right corner of the map oh, that's awesome yeah the, the game actually came with with a map like a physical map and pieces it was awesome yeah brother bro we all we all want to know what it could have been right could have should have play a belly as a going brother great to see you play a belly play a belly will be on a stream shortly we're gonna do an amiga live stream soon it's great to see you play a belly That's pretty good. That's pretty good horse because ribs take a long time to heal. Really long time. All right, last last bit of Amiga news here. I'm trying to like buzz through this because, like I said, I don't have too much time. Also on Indie Retro News, Indie Retro News is awesome. Um, there is the Reformation 3 Amiga Commodore 64 soundtrack remixes. Follow-up album Kickstarter to Matt Gray's previous hit release. Sweet. I, you know, I didn't know about the original release, so I'm going to have to look at that as well. Uh, some of you are probably having a nice sleep on this chilly Sunday. <laughs> I like I like how Neil paints the picture. <laughs> Paint the picture, I love it. Uh, but we just heard from Matt Gray that he has now launched a new Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign for his upcoming album, Reformation 3. This album is the third in the series of albums after two goal-smashing successes and will feature more awesome music as a definitive set of Matt Gray's C64 games come to life enhanced with today's upbeat technology. Let's take a quick listen and then we'll install 314. Oh, it sounds nice. Retro Ralph, how's it going, buddy? Great to see you, Retro Ralph. Oh, this is this is amazing music. Classic. Yeah, this music's amazing. A lot of these songs sound familiar to me, but I'm not a big 64 guy, but I did have a 64. Um, but these are remixed, so obviously, new twist. Battle Squadron vibe, yeah, you guys love this? Awesome. It's so funny, whenever I see the word Chimera, it's like a piece of film equipment that we use. Blast Ninja, there you go. Ben Daglish. Oh wow, so you can, that's awesome. So you can choose your own classic to have him remix. That's rad. That's fun. That's really fun. Oh nice, it'll be available in Flack and MP3. I love me some Flack. Captain Jack Flack. Flack is the best.
Nice. All right, well, let's take a look at the Kickstarter. I'll throw the link into the chat. Boom, yeah, awesome. Neil put the Kickstarter there, perfect. So that's cool. I'm, gonna, I'm totally gonna back that. That is awesome stuff. So let's do, this is the Reformation 3. Boom, there you guys go. Perfect. Put on some more Ben Daglish. All right, so let's, holy cow, it's five o'clock already, and the meeting, I gotta leave for the meeting in like an hour. So I'm gonna have to do this installation really fast. Vicky's gonna listen to this uh, while she's driving around West London doing some filming. Need a good car soundtrack. Nice, Vicky. Are you, are you a West End girl? That's <laughs> one of my favorite songs. How's the Kickstarter going? It looks like, uh, oh, he, he crushed it, dude. He crushed it, so this, this is happening. That's just awesome. All right, guys. Let's um, let's start. Let's do let's do the the um, Amiga three one four install. So, the first thing you want to do when you do the install. So so here, the whole point of the stream. Like I wasn't planning on streaming today. The whole point of the stream is to get three one four ready for the WOG meeting. But now I decided that I'm actually going to do the install at the WOG meeting to show everyone how to do it. So this is kind of a dry run. So I might mess up. <laughs> um, so the first thing you want to do is go to this link. This is where Hyperion sells three point one point four. Um, and I'll put that link in the chat right now. Boom. So sorry if I'm going through this kind of quick, guys, but let's let's check out um, some of the features. Amiga OS 314, the official update you've been waiting for. The new cleaned up, polished Amiga operating system for your 68K machine fixes all the small annoyances that have piled up over the years. Originally intended as a bug fix bug fix release, it also modernizes many system components previously upgraded in OS 3.9. Contrary to its modest revision number, OS 314 is arguably a large, as large an update as OS 3.9 was, and surpasses it in stability and robustness. Over 320k of release notes cover almost every aspect of your favorite classic Amiga OS, from boot menu to data types. So, um, some of the highlights. Over 20 kickstart ROM modules and many more disk-based core OS components were fixed, updated, or added. Native support for all Motorola 68000 and 68060 CPUs, and a more robust auto configuration process. Support for large hard, hard disks. This is huge, because right? everyone is always stumped on the 4 gigabyte maximum, right? Support for large hard disks, including boot, including your boot disk. For any OS 2. Point, any OS 2 or 3 compliant controller driver supporting HD SCSI, CMD, TMD64, or NSD, dedicated boot partitions are a thing of the past, even on legacy devices. You can also use variably sized super floppies. Sweet. I'm not sure what they are, but that sounds cool. I guess it's more than 880K. A modernized workbench as powerful as the OS 3.9 version, including new or refreshed preference editors in the legacy OS 3.1 GAD tool style, is tools such as desktop copy and format fully supported large media. Okay, cool. Larger media. Printer, hard disk, and many other support tools have been fixed or upgraded. Remember, Disk Doctor, it earned its PhD and is now ready to reliably rescue data from your floppies or hard disks. Disk, doc disk Doctor worked for me a couple times. The Cli shell and many of its commands have been networked, uh, reworked and modernized, now sporting native support for pipes, soft links, hard links, and long file names. Yeah, long file names, cool. That's very, very cool. New commands support running workbench programs from the shell or upgrading ROM modules. Cross DOS and the CD ROM file system are now smarter, faster, multi threaded. Fully reworked, modernized, and bug fixed printer drivers. An optional upgraded Intuition library provides off screen dragging of windows for native and um, P96 retardable graphics uh, screens. That's pretty cool. That's pretty rad. Uh, a colorful, professionally designed icon set is included along with traditional four color icons. This, this was something I really want to try, and uh, we will explore that in a second. <laughs> nice. Vicky is a West End girl. Fishbot has to go and do no email today. I'm sorry. I'm great, dude. I'm great. Did I? I didn't say Windows 314, did I? Did I, Acmefin? I'm Silly Billy, so it's very possible. You love the Pet Shop Boys, West End Girls? It's a good one. I love. <laughs> you know, like, um. Saturday Night Live, like the guys, the um, Lonely Island guys, Andy Samberg and company, they did a song called Jizz in My Pants. 
<laughs> which is based on West End Girls. If you haven't heard it, you need to. <laughs> yeah, Twisted. Large hard disk support is good. I was really excited about the new icons as well. Um, the large hard disk space, the things I really liked about this upgrade are the large, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of features that I need to explore. Uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm just getting into it now. This off-screen dragging is cool. But I was excited for the icons too, and they're a little bit of a letdown, to be honest with you. So let's let's take a look at this. Now, here's the other thing that's a little bit of a letdown. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I, I let's put it this way. Um. Oh, Mr. Immortal, you're welcome for that that link. Um. Yes, twisted. This is this workbench is update is a paid thing. It's about 35 US dollars. Um. And. Crimson D has a very good point. For anyone who likes the Amiga computers, please buy this rather than just torrent it or something. And here's the thing, guys. Like, I, I'm 100% behind that. Like, I think you need to like support anyone that makes new stuff for the Amiga. Um, you know, whether it's like a new game or you know, like a, a new hardware. Like, if you if you like it, like don't steal it. Like, buy it because every dollar you spend or every quid you spend is like is a vote. You know, and like by supporting um, all these developers. Uh, you're you're ensuring like the, the the Amiga stays alive because if no one supports them then they're just not gonna do it anymore. So that's really really important. So th uh, that's a very very good point, Crimson D. Support is essential. Here's the only thing that I'm, uh, that's a little bit disappointing is that I just like right now you have to buy it. You have to spend the thirty five dollars for each different Amiga, right? So you have to buy it. So here's you can buy it for the five hundred, six hundred, two thousand. Buy it for the twelve hundred. Buy it for the three thousand. Buy it for the four thousand. Or buy it for the four thousand T. I wish, like, I bought it. I bought it for the 1200. Um, I wish that they just had like a deal. Like, it would be cool. Like, maybe they'll do this in the future. Like, all right, maybe you can have like a single system license, right, for 35 bucks, or you could just buy like a package for like 60 bucks or something like that. You know what I mean? Because I mean, look, I've got a 500, I've got a 1200, I've got a 4000, and I'm gonna have to spend 35 bucks every time. It just seems like a lot, you know? <laughs> it just seems like a lot. I just, so like, I'm all for. Like, you definitely don't steal this stuff, guys. Like buy it I just wish and maybe they'll maybe if enough people speak up maybe they'll hear it I just wish there's an option to like buy them all as a package deal instead of 35 bucks for like each one now the also right now is is really I'm not gonna say it's geared towards emulators but it works well with emulators because like when you when you buy these you get a zip file that comes with ADF files of the um, of, of each install disk and you get uh, a ROM you get you get three ROM files, right? So I'll show you that in a second. You get two ROM files that you're allowed to burn to a ROM if you have a ROM burner, and that would be the hardware, you know, the Kickstart ROMs actually go in your Amiga. And then it comes with a ROM file that you can use for emulation. I don't have a ROM burner, so they are gonna have um, a release, like a physical release of this that will come with floppies and come with the Kickstart ROMs. I think that is the moment when I will actually install it in my real Amiga. For now, I'm just gonna do it with emulation. But again, I, I'm gonna have to buy it twice, you know what I mean? Which I don't mind. I, I don't mind paying extra for the Kickstart ROM chips. Or, you know, that would be another interesting thing that would be cool. Like, maybe you could just buy... It'd be cool if you could just, like, buy the OS and then buy the actual Kickstart chips individually. That could be interesting, you know? I just feel... It's just weird that I just spend $35 and you only get the license for, like, one specific machine, you know? So, do you guys agree? Stuart, you agree? Roar, you agree? I, again, I, guys, I, I am, like, 100% behind... Sp like sp spending money and supporting th these guys and anyone who makes new stuff for the Amiga, 100% behind it. I just wish this structure was a little bit different. So you can see here, um, this is what I bought. This is what I bought uh, last night, um, and it costs um, basically 35 bucks, and which is like that price is fine. I just wish I didn't have to buy it three times for all my Amigas. <laughs> but I, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Vixie, they, and they are, the, they do release the ROMs, I'll show you, they release ROM files, and the actual physical ROMs will, will come in a physical version of uh, 314. On the AB boards, it said that a bundle with ROM chips is coming a bit late. Oh, well, that would be great. So, I want, so I guess maybe when the physical release comes out, then maybe they'll have a bundle as well. That would be rad. Yeah, Mr. Remoto, you'll buy the Amiga first. Smart move, smart move. So anyway, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like jump down their throats or anything. I'm just saying, like, that would be cool if they do it, and they, they still can. And I'm happy to, sp I'm happy to buy the thing twice. I don't care, but I don't like buying it three times, <laughs> plus buying the ROMs. You know, that's just, it just starts to add up. <laughs> it just starts to add up. 
like a package deal would be cool. Like I'll spend like 60 bucks for like a package deal, you know, 70 bucks for a package deal. Then if I have to buy like all the rounds individually or something, that's cool, you know. Mr. Paul 3D, how's it going, my man? FSU is your jam fish spot. You're about to see it. Andy Amiga says, since all I have is an Amiga 1200, that's all I'll buy for it. Yeah, like I said, it'd be cool to have like a single single license like they have now, and then like a package license. And they might do it. That'd be really cool. Let's see the installation. Yes, I'm too much blah, blah, blah. Okay, so when you uh, download this, you get a zip file. I, let me go to... Let's see if this works. Look at that. I don't know why my chat... Like, I don't know why the size of these things like changes every freaking stream. It's frustrating. So, okay, so guys, here's what happens. So you download it, and let's go to my Amiga directory. You get this zip file, OS314 underscore Amiga1200 zip. Then you, I'm gonna just go through it kind of step by step, right? Then you unzip it, boom, and it makes this folder. Inside the folder, you get uh, the ADF disks, right? The install disk, extras, fonts, locale, modules, storage, and workbench. Boom. Uh, and then here it is. This is interesting. The ROMs, the ROMs folder, right? You actually get, like I said, you kind of get three ROMs in a way to burn. Uh, you have the two files for your Kickstart, the actual Kickstart chips. As you guys know, like Kickstart in the Amiga is actually two ROM chips. So um, this is for like ROM chip A. This is for like this is the high ROM chip. This is the low ROM chip. Um, so if you have a ROM burner, you can just burn it onto your onto ROMs yourself, which is cool. It's very cool that they give you that option. I like I like that a lot. I don't have a ROM burner, <laughs> unfortunately. And then here is the ROM for emulation. Boom. So you get the ROMs, you get the floppy disks, and you get uh, documentation. Mr. Immortal wants an Amiga 1200 with Deluxe Paint 4, AGA, and Pro Tracker. Youth restored. That that's the dream, Mr. Immortal. Yeah, it's great. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pull up the installation README. Um, I'm not gonna read it all because um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. I did enough reading today, <laughs> but we'll just. Um, Let's just read the beginning. The OS 314 of the Amiga operating system comes in two packaging options, with a Kickstart ROM chip included, and then additional disks, disk based only. Okay. Please read carefully which option you have purchased. Note further that the ROM is model specific and that ROMs cannot be changed between models. If you bought a package including a ROM chip, it is advisable to first upgrade the ROM to a newer version, then install the operating system from disk. Got it. So yeah, look, they've already written this as if they sell um, act the actual ROM chips, so they must be right around the corner. Which is very cool, and then they show you, they show you, they tell you how to actually install the Kickstart ROM chips, which is actually super, super easy to do. Um, that which is awesome, and then um, boom, they show you how to do the workbench installation. So it's it's pretty well documented, and then uh, this installation. Then if you have like a faster CPU, right? If you have something faster than O20, you have to um, inst install some support libraries. Um, and then here's the additional feature. This is what we we're talking about intuition, right? If you can get a new intuition, you can like drag your windows off the screen, which is super, super cool. Cool. So let's start the install. Twisted says a chap at Swag has a ROM burner. Nice to have handy if you want to build your own ROMs for sure. That yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, Andy Amiga, good point. Glenn might have a ROM burner. That'd be cool. Um, okay, so here's how I'm gonna install it. So guys, I, the reason why I'm doing it with emulation on FSUAE today is because um, FSUAE is my go-to emulator on the Mac, right? So I have a Mac and a PC. I got a, a PC desktop, which uh, you can see on the screen right now, and I've got a Mac, an old Mac laptop, which I'm actually using to do the stream. And this Mac laptop is the one I'm, I bring to the WOG meetings, so FSUAE works much better on a Mac than like WinUAE, because then WinUAE is like emulation in emulation. Uh, so we're gonna do use FSUE for this for this install. Armageddon says your emulation configure set for RTG. No, no. Uh, we're gonna set up right now. Uh, we're just gonna do a very 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 basic install. Okay, we're still there. So, 
Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is copy that kickstart ROM file. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have exited that. I'm gonna copy that, that kickstart ROM file. And this, this freaking thing is, <laughs> pain in the neck. That kickstart ROM file, I'm gonna, um, put it in the kickstart directory in FSU. It kinda doesn't matter, cause you can, you can, uh, point it anywhere you want, but this is how I'm gonna do it. So, we go to OS314, A1200, ROMs, emulation, kick, copy it, and then uh, FSUE stores the ROMs in documents, FSUAE, kickstarts. So, I'll, I'll paste it in there. And it says it already exists. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel it, because of course it already exists, because I, I did this already. So, um, yeah, I put it in this, so it's, um, users doc whatever your username is documents kickstarts so that's step one copy that rom into your kickstart folder wherever that is but like i said you can always you can always point it somewhere else you're wondering if olaf and the other guys actually got some pennies from hyperion i don't know chain i hope so i hope so thanks fishbot yeah this is ben daglish music man rest in peace the HAL 9000, where's the Amiga 1000 version? <laughs> it's easy, kickstart is easy on that, right? <laughs> um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, you know how you can make you can make an HDF file, which a lot of people prefer to do, because uh, like a, a lot of people have told me that it's a little bit more stable, but for now I'm just gonna use like a regular file folder for my, for my main DH0. So I'm gonna go into Amiga, this is my Amiga folder, uh, and then I got a folder here called uh, Bill's Bill's current UAE hard drives, and I'm gonna make a new folder, and I'm gonna call it OS314. That'll be OS314 for now. Um, perfect. Um, and now, now, now we'll open up. Uh, we'll open up FSUAE. That's the that's the the folder where we're gonna I install OS31. All right, so here's FSUE. Yes, very sad news. Brother Bill, keep your 1,000 stock. Yeah, man. Um, sorry, so we are gonna use Amiga model as a 1,200. I'm just gonna let say 3.1 ROM for now. We're gonna uh, point it to a specific place for that. Um, floppy dots. We'll get to this in a second. I'm gonna. Uh, well, actually, we could do. Yeah, we'll get. We'll get to this in a second because I want to save this configuration. Uh, so I'm going to keep all the floppy drives empty right now. No CD-ROM drive. Uh, hard drives, I am going to eject, eject. I'm going to use this file, right? I'm going to use the OS314 file that we just created. That's going to be my DH0. ROM and RAM. Kickstart ROM, you want to change this. You don't want it to be the default. You want to use a custom Kickstart ROM. And we can. it already came up, but we can point to it. It's the... Um, where'd it go? It's this one, kick dot a twelve hundred dot four six dot one four three. Boom. That's the one that came with. Uh, oh, it, it didn't point. Interesting. Yeah, so that's the one that came uh, with our zip file. Yo, man, Vandal eighteen. Yeah, unfortunately, Ben da Daglish has passed away, and that's why we're listening to the music as a tribute to him. It's very sad. Yeah, it's really sad. Mr. Immortal, FSUA is amazing. I love FSUA. Andy, I mean, you can do a, you can do a soft kick, it's called, but I'm, I'm gonna wait. Personally, I'm gonna wait. I'm probably gonna wait. I might try the soft kick, we'll see. For now, I'm just gonna use emulation. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can also, they'll also, you can also buy Kickstart ROM chips from them soon, if they're not available yet. Andy, me, you'll, uh, no, I got, I got sound here. Sounds good. Um, Andy, are you coming to the meeting tonight? Uh, I'm gonna go with two megs chip, and I'll go with eight megs fast. Why not? Joystick and mouse port, I don't have to worry about. I'm not gonna do any expansions. I'm just gonna go stock. I'm gonna leave the 68020 CPU. I'm gonna, everything's gonna be stock. Just to see if this sucker works. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this configuration, and I'm gonna call it Bill's OS314 for the stream. Boom. Save that config. 
Do it, I got some of you like uh, FSUE, right? Do you guys like FSUE? I, Win UE obviously is amazing, but sometimes for something like short and sweet and quick, I like the FSUE a lot. And like I said, it works on PC and Mac, so it's really good for Mac. Maybe you want to go up to an O30, but brother Bill, if I do go up to an O30, then I have to do a more complicated install. Nice, Vicky. Congrats on the pictures. Play Valley says FSU is much better for gaming. Yeah, I agree. F and, it's, and Amiga Live, right? <laughs> and it works on Linux. And Ubuntu. Oh, awesome, dude. When you need more proper hardware stuff, that dude, that makes perfect sense. Play Valley. Yeah, brother Bill. Like I said, in, like they said in the uh, in the notes, um, you have to install um, an extra library to to deal with a faster processor, which I will do eventually. But for now, just for the basic install, I'm just gonna keep it stock. FSUE is great on Linux, Amiga 1200 Gamer. I never tried it on Linux. I don't, I don't have Linux, but that's, that's awesome to know. Okay, so next up. So now we saved this configuration, and I didn't want to... Now we can put in our floppies. I didn't want to, like, save it with the, the configuration with the floppies already in there, right? I'm just going to make this simple. I'm going to go to four drives. I don't need a save disk. And then we're going to add all of the ADF files to our, our, uh, our media swap list. So let's go here. And it went right to the folder, probably because I, I did that before, but I'm going to load all these ADF files that came with it boom and then I can do this now I'll put the install disk in DF0 I'll put workbench boom and then I forgot what ask, asks for next extras probably and locale I'm just guessing or maybe storage I'm not sure I'll put them in there now we'll see <laughs> and that should do it we should be ready to boot up Team 17, all-terrain racing, one of your favorites. Nice. Exactly, Brother Bill. This is only a test. Good. Yeah, good. it's good to uh, good to test on uh, on the basic stuff first. Do you guys get that text message last night? I mean, yesterday? This is a test of the, uh, the presidential alert system. It scared the crap out of me. It was so loud. Um, all right, let's start her up. Akmuffin says FSUE for the win works on Fedora as well. Armageddon's Witness says I love FSUE for my floppy games. The floppy game database made it super convenient to set up hundreds of floppy based games. That is a good point. That is a really good point. WinUE on the other hand is my go-to emulator because it boots and runs much faster. Right on. I like I like uh, FSUE. Stuart, you failed the test? Well, hopefully we'll help you here. Stuart, I'm going to drink some good beers tonight. I'm going to uh, Bridgeview Tavern after the meeting, and uh, they've got, that's where I had my Heady Topper. That was my first Heady Topper experience. So now it's booting, it's booting the install floppy. Perfect. So here's all the floppies I installed. Oh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to, I, this is bad, guys. Exit out of it. I forgot to, uh, put our hard drive oh no I did put it there I just didn't see it I'm not as dumb as I think I am let me start it again sorry about that <laughs> I failed I get an F I get an F for that one fishbot says any more ham photos in the pipeline ah uh, I've got I want actually I got like a 16 color high res black and white photo I want to work on <laughs> no problem Stuart we gotta hang out one day man now that I'm back on the mountain bike, I'll be up in uh, in Vermont for uh, for for Nemefest next year. Silly Billy strikes again. I see. I thought I forgot. I thought I forgot to uh, include the hard drive, but I didn't. I remembered. I just didn't see it there. Andy Amiga's back with sound. Hopefully, there it is. All right, so let's go to the install disk. We're using the dynamic folder, so we're not gonna have to do this, but we will use some HD tools when I do it on my real Amiga. Uh, we'll install English. Now, anyone who's uh, doesn't know me that well, I mean, I'm. Let's put it this way: I, I used to know Workbench pretty well back in the day not I never was like an expert but I knew it pretty well but these days like I haven't messed with workbench that much like I used to edit my startup sequence you know manage all my memory like I used to like try and get every 
every bite, <laughs> every manage every bit and every bite. I was, but lately, man, it's just it's like, I just want my stuff to work. You know, I'm like, oh man, I haven't like used my Genlock in like 20 years. I want to dust it off and see if it works. I haven't used my DC TV in 20 years. I want to see if that works. So I haven't. Like, I'm not. When you watch these streams, like I'm not an expert. You know, I'm I'm the f fully admit. Like I'm just like an Amiga fan and Amiga user. I love to stream, but I'm not like an Amiga workbench expert. So my main man. Um, Beta Jan, who we're, I'm gonna give mad props to in a second, and um, and uh, and uh, Akira, they helped me out a lot in the Discord channel today. So I really appreciate that, guys, very very much. Um, okay, so Hello? yes, love. Fresh orange juice from my wow, from under the green screen comes fresh squeezed orange juice from my wife to protect me from the germs because she's got the flu. Oh my god, so good. I'm a lucky dude. Oh, someone asked what I was drinking before. I was drinking um, jalapeno kiwi cucumber kombucha. It's really good. Sounds like such an Apple user. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I mean, I like mess messing around at Workbench and stuff, but... Um, is it alt enter there we go i just i want to put the music back on we'll start it again <laughs> she's spoiling me Hazemaker, I think um, FSUE uses some of the WinUAE engine, but they're not they're not the same. Okay, this program lets you install release 3.1.4 of the Amiga operating system on a hard drive. It can be used to upgrade an older release. That's pretty cool. Or to install from scratch, or to control which languages are available on a hard drive with release 3.1.4 already installed. Awesome. Let's proceed. Select install to do a complete installation. Okay, yeah, we want to install it. So that's cool. You can update the languages. If I if I happen to learn a new language, <laughs> which ain't gonna happen anytime soon, I could, you know, I could I could uh, make a Polish version of Workbench. Even though I'm not really an expert, I'm just going an expert user because I'm expert enough to handle that. <laughs> yeah, I would love to play with more OS a little bit. Uh, install for real. Pretend to install. We could also do a log file. Nope, we're going to install it for real and we don't need a log file. Release 314 will now be installed on your hard drive. Any previous release already present will be replaced. If applicable, certain files from previous releases will be preserved, including the startup sequence. That's cool. Do you want release 3.1.4 installed in the OS 314 partition? Yes, I do. Exciting. Which languages should be installed? Yes, just English. Just English. Which printer driver should be installed? Uh, actually, we don't need any of them. I'll see PostScript for now. Because sometimes I like to print to a file, you know? Which key maps should be installed? Uh, I only need the American. American. That's all I need. I could install them all, but I'll just do American. Why not? I do. I know. I mean, the thing is, I know. I know how to say some things in Polish. Like I can get around town. You know what I mean? But um, like reading Polish and speaking it are totally different. Like the way that the words are spelled and the way they sound. Cause I just learned by ear. Totally different. Amiga 1200 Gamer says to Hazemaker that FSUE and WinUE both used the WinUE core for Amiga emulation, but the rest is built from scratch for cross-platform OpenGL. See, that's a better answer. That I was right, but that's a better answer. <laughs> Thank you, Amiga 1200 Gamer. Chess play ability, Yakshimash. You know, I I didn't really notice that, that so there was there wasn't a Polish key map. That's they should change that man because Poland is one of the biggest supporters of, of Amiga these days. And Finland too. The Amiga, the state of the Amiga is strong in Finland. Well, while we're waiting. Oh, I can't really. It's hard for me to drop in the chat without leaving the install. But I just want to get, see see Beta Jan right there. 
Betajan and Amiga1200 Gamer are both great dudes in my Discord channel. Amiga1200 Gamer, I think Amiga1200 Gamer is, I think you're Akira. <laughs> Sometimes I, I, oh my god, what's this? I don't know why all my alerts and stuff get all messed up. Snowdog, my man, my man from the Rockies. Thank you for the resub. You are too freaking kind, Snowdog. Thank you for all support. It was a pleasure, a pleasure to, to have you as always. Thank you, Snowdog. It's super generous and super kind of you. Speaking of being super generous and super kind, Beta Jan and oh, you're not Akira. Okay. Well, Beta Jan, you're awesome anyway, Amiga 1200 gamer. <laughs> but Beta Jan and um, Akira both have been super helpful in my Discord channel, and Beta Jan did an epic install of OS 314 on his real Amiga. So he's, he's like way more of a man than me. <laughs> Today I'm just like doing some emulation. You know, I'm just doing this like, this is like a simple way to install it. Betajan did an epic stream. So I encourage everyone to click on Betajan's name right there um, and and go follow him here on, on Twitter. I mean on Twitch. He streams like almost every day. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Uh, his streams are beautiful. He, like, he puts so much thought and effort into his streams like they look gorgeous he's like mastered the art of Lutz and and getting his uh, Amiga to look the absolute best it can uh, the output of the Amiga to look the best it can and his Amiga he's got an Amiga cam as well that looks awesome and he's a great guy and he's uh, a mod in my discord channel and I'm super super happy to to call him my friend so go go follow beta Jan he's a great guy I'll throw the link down in the chat uh, when I when I get free when I get freed up <laughs> Oh, Amiga 1200 Gamer is Amiga 1200 Gamer in Discord, Twitch, and Twitter. And stream. Oh, you stream too. Awesome. Well, go follow Amiga 1200 Gamer. Awesome. Sorry, it's like a few people. Like, I know Akira's got a few different names. So sometimes it's, I forget because I'm silly Billy. But thank you. Thank you, Amiga 1200 Gamer. Beta Jan, you rock, dude. It's always a pleasure. I wish I could watch more of your streams. All right, so please insert the Amiga Fonts disc in a floppy drive, okay? I'll just take out. I think I might have already done locale, so I'll put in fonts. Oh, Steam, not stream. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, Amiga 1200 gamer. <laughs> Silly Billy strikes again. Are we friends on Steam, Amiga 1200 gamer? I would love to, like, I've been playing some Fortnite. I've been playing some Fortnite with the Riot Retro Gaming crew, and I'm playing some Fortnite with uh, Akmafin and Ariuri. It's fun. I make a good human shield. I mean, I know I know Fortnite's not on Steam, but I'm just wondering if I follow you on Steam. Akmafin is my Fortnite partner in crime. Oh, Amiga's Home Ring, you're winning. Yeah, I was just thinking of Gauntlet. I f I'm sorry, I forgot that um, I did mention Gauntlet. We need to play Gauntlet. That would be a lot of fun. The new Gauntlet is great, by the way. Mank Vandal L18, uh, that's an excellent question. Would our Amigas like to get repaired these days if they go belly up? It depends what's wrong with it, but to be honest, like, I'll be honest with you, it's not that easy, especially here in the United States. Like, let's pretend you need to get, like, a recap or um, you need to fix something hardware wise we have like one guy his name's Asol, and he's like the the resident like US expert and he's amazing I know Andy Amiga 7 sent his stuff out to him the thing is like he's in California West Coast style you know and I'm here in New York I would love it if there was someone in New York I could just bring my Amiga to to get it fixed I'm still kind of searching for that person because I'm not a hardware guy at all like, I I I'm a hardware dum dum, <laughs> among other things. <laughs> but um, yeah, Asil is the man here in the states. I don't know where you live, um, uh, Mank, but I know there's definitely more opportunities in in Europe for sure um, for that. Then some of the guys in chat can probably help you out with that. I know I know uh, Amix through and two just got his recap from John Hertel himself, which is pretty rad. I bet you the Retro Bench does it as well. I bet you, but I, I don't want to speak for him. You want to play? Oh, do you want to play the um, area? Or you guys want to play um, Gauntlet as well? Amiga storage. What time is it? Holy crap, dude! I got to. Um, I, we're 
we'll get this installed. Don't don't worry. We'll get the sucker installed. But it's it's taking. I'm not gonna get to do all the bells and whistles with it. Andy's old school, always gotten stuff to work on. His classic Amiga 1200. All these other variants, except for FSUE, has always been a challenge. So you, Andy's good at getting the stuff working on the real hardware. The emulators are tricky. <laughs> Vicky, yeah. Normally I do, but to be honest, like on the stream, it's kind of nice because I can just kind of like chill out, look at the chat. <laughs> Gives me time to breathe. We're 80% there. And th the thing I really want to show you as well are these fonts that came with it because um, Betajan helped me with that uh, this morning. And the fonts, I gotta be honest, they are they look cool, but they're a little bit of a disappointment because they require a lot of system resources. Oh, you want to play Fortnite, Ari Ari? I I'll play it again with you for sure. Vicky is really curious to see what's in Workbench icon menu now, as it looks like the window menu is much improved. Oh, we'll, we'll check it out right now, Vicky. Okay. The installation of release 3.1.4 is now complete. To enable release 3.1.4, you must reboot your Amiga. Remove the Amiga install disk from the floppy drive and select Proceed Gadgets. Reboot your Amiga. All right, let's eject all the disks. Woohoo! Andy, Andy, I'm guessing you're not going to make it to the meeting tonight. Unless you're gonna leave your house soon, <laughs> it's coming down to the wire, Andy. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna have to like stream from my phone on my way, <laughs> on my way to the meeting. <laughs> all right, are we all clear. We're all clear. All clear. Proceed. Yeah, Andy. I think I think the audio's on your end. I think the audio's on you. Yeah. Look at that. Copyright 2018 Hyperion Entertainment. Pretty rad. That was for the thumbnail. <laughs> that was for the screenshot. Uh, Brother Bill, Amiga Anthony is not coming to the meeting tonight. Amiga Anthony ditched us for Comic Con. Oh, really? I dropped audio? That's not Clando, exactly. Thanks, Morpheus. Thanks, everyone. That was fun, right? Hype it up, baby. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, like, I never like to run my workbench in a window. So, I will run it in backdrop mode, and we will uh, freaking snapshot that. You know, it's so funny, I haven't done it in so long. I, I guess you have to snapshot it. <laughs> um, all right, and then, all right, so what do I do next? Um, so, so yeah, so we're up and running with OS 314, which is pretty rad. Um, so the, the thing I really wanted to try out, right, were the, the new icons. I got so excited about the new icons. And, like, again, Beta Jan, can I, hold on a second. I can, let me just, now that we're up and running here, let me, uh, let me, I just want to, beta Jan, can I do this? Hold on a second. I want to throw a, a link to beta Jan in the, uh, in the chat, because he helped me so much, dude. He was just awesome. Uh, oh wait, can I just do this? This will be easier. There we go, guys. Beta Jan channel. So, my main man, Beta Jan. Thank you, Beta Jan. <laughs> Thank you. Beta Jan helped me with these icons this morning. And I appreciate it very much. All right, let me close this and we'll go back to Amiga. Uh, I, I, sorry, I spelled it wrong. So, yeah, but I, at least the link is right. <laughs> yeah, he's not. Beta Jan uh, is not Jan Beta. They're two, it, two different folks. 
but two awesome folks two equally awesome folks all right so um so let's check out these icons right that's what i really want to do um so here's the thing with the icons <laughs> the icons are a weird aspect ratio so you have to put it into like high res interlace mode to get the icons to be the, the, the right aspect ratio and then also they also require 256 colors so like your stock amiga 1200 is gonna like suffer with that <laughs> so let's but you know let's do it anyway <laughs> i like i like this i like this here I like, I like the new the new scroller there on the side of the window that's pretty rad beta that's why you go by robin now yeah i was just calling you beta jan because uh that's what your your screen name is you know your your twitch name so here's how you install the the, uh, the icons because it's it's tricky to install the icons right yeah it's a little weird right vicky Vicky, wait, Vicky, before I install the new icons, what did you want to see, right? You want to see something. You want to see... Vicky wanted to see... Oh, the icon menu? It looks pretty much the same. Open, copy, rename, and snap to leave out. It's pretty similar. Pretty similar, Vicky. Yeah, pretty similar. Chain EAB, what's up, dude? Show, show, show you what. Uh, so chain, I can't show you that yet because it requires more of an install. I have to install the new Intuition library, which I haven't done yet. Bajan says, window menu now is a find option. It only gets enabled if you put any find tool called find in the system drawer. Gotcha. Yeah, Chain, um, I, I might not have time. I'm sorry, I might, because I, I actually do have to get to my WOG meeting soon. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to do the uh, the window drag. Um, but it requires a new uh, intuition library. It's, it, it looks pretty easy to do. I just I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it. Check out the overscan screen. All this looks pretty, pretty much the same, right? This, I mean, I, I like to. Um, interesting. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Gulliver is dead. Oh, you're. Did you make that? Did you make those icons, Gulliver? Awesome. I like, I'm Gulliver, I was saying I really like this little touch here as well. Uh, what were you saying? That's awesome, Gulliver. Well, it's awesome to have you. I, I don't know any, I, 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 this is like, again, this is like my first install, so I don't know anything, anything about it. <laughs> this is not like an information st stream. This is like an explore, an exploratory, um, stream. You want to see o Overscan? Oh, cool. Boom. That's neat. And you know what would be real awesome? Just install is playing the music in the background. I mean, that's hilarious. Agent Screamo has a cool test pattern when you click it. Oh. Where's Scre uh let's see. No, oh, neat. So
so so um so once we got you here Gulliver um thank you I mean it's awesome to have you but the I like I was really psyched for the new icons and they look beautiful the problem is like I think they look best in 256 color mode and that's just a, a big strain on on the system you know I, do you think you guys are gonna come out with a new new icon pack that could like look good at like lower resolutions and and um and fewer colors That's borrowed code from O. That's really cool. Okay, so the. Oh, awesome! In 16 colors, let's 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 show everyone. So I think we have to go to high res lace to get the aspect ratio right of the icons, if I'm not correct. And we'll just kick it. We'll just kick it all the way up to 256 colors to make them look make them look perfect. Uh, we'll save that. And we're gonna turn off the borders as well. <laughs> Let's get good, good. No border. The new, the new, uh, the new icons will look better with no border. So this is great news. They're gonna come out with even more icons. That's awesome. Yeah, no borders is key for the new icons. Okay, so now the new icons are in uh, the storage floppy. So let's put in storage. And I think they're they're in a hidden a hidden drawer, right? So we have to go to window, show. So, um, Gulliver, like I was saying, like I. I used to know Workbench like much better than I do now. I was never like a total expert, <laughs> um, but I'm not. I'm a, I'm just an Amiga fan, you know. And like I love to use my Amiga to like do like art and video work. Like my I I love Genlocks. I love like doing like ham ham photos with my current photos because I'm a, a cinematographer and a photographer. So I got I'm just a fan. So you're seeing this from like a fan's perspective. You're not seeing this from like an, an Amiga. Uh, OS experts <laughs> perspective and I, I, I used to know it much better than I did I, I used to edit my startup sequence and manage memory all the time um, but I was never like a total total you know expert I'm, now I'm even less of one. <laughs> oh wow um, I've used I used a different command yeah we are all fans you're right Gulliver but I'm just uh, I'm not like I, I could never like I'm, I'm just not as technical, you know what I mean? So, um, here's the Glow Icons folder. There are many ways to unskin a cat. <laughs> Oh, did I put it in the DF1 or DF0? Put it in DF1. Again, thanks Betajan for helping me with this. This is just awesome. Now I don't know what I don't know what the the clone buff ten is. Will this will this work here? All right, I'm gonna you tell I'll tell you what this worked this worked for me last time, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what Gulliver said.
Oh, clone makes a one-to-one -one copy. Oh, gotcha. Buff 10 sets the buffer to use less memory so you don't run out of it. Oh, very, oh, very, very cool. Yeah, beta, this is one of the great things about the, uh, using emulation is you can make all the mistakes you want. Let's see. I think I did it right. <laughs> we'll try it. All is for subdirectors too. That that I remembered. That's right. Vicky says it looks like you can shortcut the execute and cancel buttons with the keyboard and the execute command will right on. Beta Jan didn't know about buff 10, so he learned something. I didn't know either. I'm glad you learned something, Beta Jan. Because <laughs> you helped me. It's nice if someone can help you. It feels like we're hacking into a supercomputer. <laughs> we're hacking into an emulated Amiga. <laughs> Fish bot, you rock, dude. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's restart it, so, right? Let's restart it so we can get all the icons looking nice. Fingers crossed, right? Uh, Gulliver says, if, if you don't use buff 10 or something similar in a reduced memory conditions, you'll end up crashing your machine. That's really good. Mazza, no worries, dude. Like, when, on my streams, like, everyone's welcome and no one, you know, like, there's no pressure ever to chat. Like, if you just want to have, like, the stream on and, like, hang out and, like, have it on in the background, that's totally cool, man. You want to jump in and chat? That's cool, too, man. My streams are loosey-goosey. <laughs> <laughs> Hage Maker is funny. Uh, let's see, so we're all good. Yeah, let's reset the Amiga. Control Amiga Amiga. <laughs> I can't do Control Amiga Amiga on my real 1200 right now because uh, I haven't replaced the keyboard membrane yet. Sweet. I mean, the icons look really nice. Um, God, take care of stuff before the meeting. See you later. Oh, Brown Pierre, I'll see you. I'll see you like in an hour. <laughs> Agamemnon, this is probably the first time Mazda has seen an Amiga in action. Uh -huh. <laughs> right on, Marcus. Um, sweet. I love the trash can icon. That's really cool. I mean, it looks really, it, it looks really nice. We were just talking in the Discord about, you know, like running Workbench in high res 256 colors is just a lot. <laughs> you know, it's like it's definitely a lot. But I thought when you do, man, it looks it looks beautiful. I like the I like the icons a lot. The sound one's rad. Gulver says credits uh, for the glow icons go to uh, Martin Mason Mertz. Right on, Martin. Play Vel, you like them? Yeah, totally. How do they look in 16 colors? Oh, good call. Good call. Let's uh, let's do that. But let me, who asked something? What is the new clock program like? Uh, where, where, where the clock? Looks like, it looks kind of like the old one. Um, you guys want to see 16 colors, right? I got, you know what? Not bad. To be honest, not bad in 16 colors. You can see some of the dithering there. It's not that much worse, to be honest with you. For some reason, like the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, it's gotta be 256 colors. And that is the best. But that's not that bad. Now that I'm looking at it again with second eyes.
Sansi, what's up, dude? New workbench is looking pretty good so far. Unfortunately, we're not like I do want to like do the thing with the putting the 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 window off the screen, but I've got to be I gotta be uh, at the wog meeting in like in less than an hour, so I have to I gotta wrap it up. It looks a little more cartoony, but it works. Oh, oh, the actual clock program. Got you, not the set clock. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the old one. Thanks, Vicky. Uh, yeah, I do have very discriminating eyes, Brother Bill. <laughs> so Roar says, if the right ratio could be done in high res, not in release with 16 colors, you would definitely install it on your real Amiga. Let's let's take it out of um, let's take it out of high res mode. I mean, high, let's just do high res, not in released. See, they're a little squished. A little squished. The clock's still ugly, yeah. <laughs> it's still the same old clock. Santi says 030 with 16 colors is the perfect combo. That's what I. That's what I'll have on my real Amiga. Beta Jan wants to see what it looks like in 32 colors. Beta, Beta Jan asks and he shall receive. Oops, I should have just changed the colors too. Let's just take it one step at a time here. Cool. They look good. Uh, you know what? Actually... Actually, I kind of like 16 better. I kind of liked a little bit of like dithering action that was going on there. Now this is a little, a little bit more blocky. Call me crazy, but I kind of I kind of like the 16 better. Area uses eight colors. Very cyan. Yeah, it is very cyan. You like you like 16 better? I agree. It's funny, like all we're doing. <laughs> All we're kind of doing is like looking at icons. It's not the best OS demo <laughs> ever, <laughs> but I wasn't expecting it. I just wanted to get like the basics done. 16 is yeah. I, I I like the little dithering there and stuff. Acmefin makes a good point. Fortunately, the emulator doesn't flicker like a real 1084s monitor. <laughs> True. Oh, workbench workbench uh, pattern has dithering options. Oh, if you put... Oh, cool. So if you use a picture as your backdrop. Yo, Spuffs. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm Bill. I usually stream Real Amiga stuff from Real Amigas. Today we're just installing uh, OS 314 on a emulated environment. Um, I stream like once a week. Also got a YouTube channel called The Guru Meditation with my buddy Anthony. Um, also run the Westchester Amiga User Group, which is meeting in like 45 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wrap the stream up. I'm going to have to like... I got to like eat a little food wrap it up and then get to the meeting um and i'm gonna do this again at the meeting <laughs> so thanks to everyone for the help and thanks thanks spuffs for the follow i appreciate that very much um what is that what is that that i said about the fonts with that i don't know what, what did i say what did i say about the beta jan workbench 314 the icons update <laughs> I know I feel bad like I need to I need to learn more about the OS before I can like really demo it This is like my first time installing it um, But I what I can show you Gulliver yeah, well first of all like Gulliver. Thank you, man Like what I was saying I oh well, I always say this I don't know if you know me or like ever heard Saw any of my streams or saw any of my YouTube videos, but I, I just like I always just give like Mad respect to anyone that does like anything new with the Amiga in 2018 like you guys are all freaking heroes <laughs> Yo, anyone who's making like new amiga cases anyone who's making like new amiga hardware whether it's an accelerator or vampire or any of that stuff like i love it all anyone who's making new amiga games new freaking amiga operating systems it's just amazing and i'm just so thankful for everyone who does something new for the amiga because that is the way we keep it alive you know this machine is is really old <laughs> but it's got like the most amazing community of people in the world and people like gulliver and you know 
Apollo team and uh, like individual computers. I don't want to like start naming anyone, anyone who makes new games. Like, it's just so awesome that people are still like supporting the system because it's a really special one. Yo, Marcus, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you for the follow, dude. 640 by 48 is all you need for productivity. I use 640 by 48 all the time. I love it. <laughs> 640 by 400 I use. I'm, a, I'm an NTSC guy. Vicky, um, I hope I hope this was like, I hope this was like somewhat interesting for everybody <laughs> like I said I wasn't really playing it's not really like an OS demo I was just like oh I better I better install this thing for my meeting tonight hey I might as well stream it because I haven't streamed this week you like it that's awesome yeah I'm very grateful to everyone who worked on this update as well it's very cool and I want to let, let, let's do this let's just cancel this I, I want to put a picture in the background that'd be really cool uh, I'm not gonna do that now, but let's let's just um, let's just exit out of here. I, I don't know why I closed the window. So I don't have to do that. But let me just show you. So this, if we were to do the intuition update, this is what we'd have to do. Um, I would go to and so um, Gulliver, are you gonna do more? Uh, so you you mentioned that you're gonna do more work on the on the icons. Um, if you if you can, if you're still here, can you? Uh, can you like, expand on that? So like it'll be so you'll like fix the aspect ratio for just using like high res non release. Is that is that on the table? Marcus coming to your next meeting next month. Awesome dude. I hope hopefully I'll be around. <laughs> Marcus, like if you seriously though, if you want to come to the meeting, I should get you onto uh, the WOG Google email list because if I can't make it sometimes I can't make the meeting because I work because my work schedule is so crazy. That's why I don't have a regular stream schedule either. Sometimes we'll cancel it, or we'll cancel it, or postpone it for weather, or something like that as well. So Marcus, if you want, if you want in on that WOG um, email list, let me know. So just check with me before before you come. You know what I mean? Toaster soap. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very much. Roar. I, I'm pretty sure Gulliver mentioned that he's going to work more on the icons. He and his team. Oh, okay, no, he's not going to change it. Used a simple retouch of the standard four color icons, trying to respect what Commodore did. Oh, gotcha. I, I misunderstood that. I thought you were going to come out with more more icons. Sorry. Um, but so check it out. Th this is though. See, this is the interesting part here. This is what I want to do next. I'm unfortunately, guys, I, I don't have time to do it now, but I will do it. And I'll, you know, I'll what I'll do it, and then I can just demo it before the next stream. The next stream, I think, is going to be an Amiga live stream. And it's gonna happen either Tuesday or, or Thursday. I mean, sorry, Wednesday or Thursday of next week, because I'm booked Monday. T it's probably gonna happen. It's probably gonna happen. No, I'm working Wednesday. It's probably gonna happen one week from today. Is my guess. Yo, Ickwig, thank you so much for the follow. Wow, a lot of new follows. Thank you guys, everyone, for for the uh, for the follows. That is just super, super cool. Um, I'm Bill. I stream once a week. I stream usually stream from Real Amiga. I got my Real Amiga here. Here's my here's my. Real Oh, sorry about that. That sounded that sounded really scary. <laughs> this that's my 1200. That's the, this is the machine I usually stream from. But today we're doing emulation because I'm about to head to a Westchester Amiga User Group meeting, and we're gonna mess around with OS 3.1 at the meeting, and we're gonna I'm gonna show them how I just did that install at the meeting. You guys just saw it. <laughs> Play Valley is gonna do some Amiga Live. So Play Valley. Right now, the only day I'm free next week is Thursday. I'm working all the other days. Yo, A AP Stymes, thank you for the follow. Gulliver is dead, thank you for the follow. Thursday's good for you, awesome. The 1200 is a thing of beauty. Can I can I go to overhead cam full screen here? Sorry guys, I'm just kind of like spinning my wheels here. Oh, but let me just, what I was going to say is this, um... This here, uh, under the F section, uh, the modules disk contains an optional extension of the Intuition system library that is responsible for the graphical user interface. Enabling this extension will allow you to drag windows partially off the screen. This is what I'm going to install next. I'm not gonna, I don't have time to do it now. Um, but this is, this is the next thing I'm going to do on my Amiga OS 314 update. Because that would be really, really cool. 
Play Valley, we don't we don't have. <laughs> no, Play Valley, I'm thinking next Thursday or one week from today is the next time I can stream. So if you're around that day, we can do it. <laughs> Mega Tinder. Golver is dead. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that so much. Golver and Golver, thank you for the follow and thank you for these amazing icons and thank you for and if you talk to anyone else, any other developers, you know, for, who did worked on Amiga OS 314, to thank them as well, man. There's like myself and many, many, many other people appreciate your work so much. So here's the let me go to overhead cam. See, I, I'm <laughs> there, we go. there. She is. I love my 1200. Yo, Amiton TV in the house. Johnny, thanks for stopping by. I'm just wrapping up the stream now, Johnny. Johnny, uh, your stream, I saw your announcement just as I was about to go live that you went live. And I was like, oh man, Ham 6 video. I, I want to watch that. So I'm going to go watch your, your VOD, Johnny. I, I want to do some Ham 6 video myself. Yo, Roar, thanks for hanging out. It's always a pleasure to have you, Roar. I love you, man. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Snow Dog, we'll have fun at the meeting. Awesome. Since Anthony's moving, can you do a, a cooperative stream? Yeah, Marcus, I absolutely, I absolutely will. Anthony and I, I think I have plans. Anthony and I have plans. Like, don't worry, we'll be fine. Johnny in the house. AP Steinmetz, excited to install his update. Yeah, there's, all I did was install it and play with the icons, <laughs> which are awesome, but there's a lot more to the update than just the icons. <laughs> Santi says Amigaville is the king of ham six photos and Amazon TV is the king of ham six videos. So, Santi, yeah, we gotta Johnny and I gotta team up, man. Johnny and I gotta team up. I wanna do some ham six video myself. Stewies. Stuart, you're welcome, Stuart. I hope the stream was good. Like I said, normally I have like something more planned, you know, and we play games and stuff. Uh, but I today was just like I need to get ready for WOG. I might as well stream it. Share it share it with everyone. And see I learned. I learned something and it's a, it's an honor to have um, to have one of the developers here, I didn't. I didn't know. I should next time. I should just have someone who really knows what they're doing on the stream with me, so I can interview them. That's that's what I'm good at. <laughs> that's what I should have someone like from. Yeah, dude. Actually, that's a good point. If you ever want to come on the stream, um, if you're Gulliver, if you're if you or any of the people on the team ever come, ever want to come on my stream, I would love to interview you. This way, I could we could like learn more. Cause this is just me booting up three one four for the first time, not really knowing anything. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Alexander? How's it going? Great to see you, man. No worries, dude. No worries. You're filming super slow-mo of a cake exploding? Oh, nice, Alexander. I hope you're using a phantom. The ham man. That's me. If you were managing the shoot, you would have killed me. I rigged... Uh, the VCT plate to a ladder. It's it all it all <laughs> Whatever works Alexander. It's all good. I won't tell anyone. I was up Alexander uh, the I shot the opening to the MLB playoffs and it's gonna be airing tonight at 8 34 p.m. on MLB Network, so I'm super psyched about it. We did lots of time-lapse We did motion uh, time-lapse like motorized slider time-lapse stuff. It was really really fun. And lots of great artwork. Gulliver, yeah, ask some of the guys, man. I, I can like interview you well. I, I got, like I said, I'm not a workbench uh, expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I know enough to like do a cool interview with you guys. It'd be a lot of fun. Or we could also do it on Guru Meditation YouTube channel. I don't know if you know what that is. Um, I can put it here. Boom, there it is, right there. We just did, uh, we just did a cool video. Let's see, I can pull it up. We just did a cool video about the Vampire V4. We had the. Uh, Let's see, I'll pull it up for you. This is our latest video. Uh, we had Man Manny from the Apollo team is in our Westchester Amiga user group, and uh, he came and demoed the V4 for us. We had, we had the only, he's got the only V4 in North America right now, so it was pretty, we're really lucky to like, have him come demo it for us. It was really cool. Alexander, yeah, no, I've done the install. I've done the install, I just haven't like, oh, I, I installed it, and then we installed the icons. <laughs> um, and, th and that's all we did. <laughs> But that's all I kind of, I knew that's all we'd get to. Uh, it's 6.04 p.m. here, guys. I got to wrap up the stream. Manny is a cool dude. Thanks, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Manny was on uh, Amiton TV's uh, stream as well last Saturday. 
Both great guys, good old Manny and Johnny. It was, yeah, it's amazing what you can do with, with that vampire, right? Guys, go up to a YouTube. Johnny, throw your YouTube link in the chat so everyone can go follow. Johnny is the Amiga stream machine. I stream once a week if I'm lucky. Johnny streams like multiple times per week and his streams are awesome and you know he's the original stream machine <laughs> i love amiton tv and johnny's a great programmer he's developing a new game right now called coco banana which i can't wait to play he does really great programming streams as well so johnny go throw throw your link in the chat my man crimson sd you're welcome dude Area, you, you installed 3.1 a couple weeks ago live. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I got to wrap it up. It is 6.05 p.m. I just want to say thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. Uh, it's been it's been an awesome, awesome stream. I had a blast. I'm usually more organized than this, but this was, I, I figured I decided to do this this morning, you know? <laughs> I decided to do it this morning. So, like I said, I don't stream on a regular basis. I try and get it one stream in a week, but because I'm a freelancer, my, my, my work schedule is always shifting. So, if you want to know when I stream... You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at the Guru Meditate on Twitter. Uh, I am on Facebook, facebookcom slash Meditation. I also have a Discord channel, man. You can do the Discord right here. Boom. And uh, yeah, we have great people, including the Beta Jan and Akira, hanging out in Discord. We have a blast over there. Um, a lot of people who know a lot more than I do in that in that Discord channel. So it's a great channel, and we have a lot of fun. Um, and I usually announce all my streams 24 hours in advance. Usually today was today was like I decided in the morning I want to stream. <laughs> I was like I knew I had, to, I had to knock out a bunch of work and I was like I knew I'd finish it in time for the meeting so I was like yeah let's stream it. So I think my next stream will be one week from today. That's my guess. I don't know for sure, but that's the next day off I have, right? <laughs> so um, I, I'm working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then I have Thursday off, then I work Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's a busy it's a busy week coming up, but I'm gonna hopefully uh, sneak in a little stream on Thursday. Um, and that's it guys. Yeah, that was great, man. Huge thanks to everyone who worked on Amiga OS 314. That's just great. Beta Jan, thank you and thank you for the help, dude. That thank you for the help. Santi, you streaming now, we'll see. Akmafin, always a pleasure to see you, my man. We'll play some Fortnite again. Thanks, Vicky. It's always a pleasure to have you. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. This is gonna be great. There you go, Johnny. Club Amiton. <laughs> Johnny streams from Amiga Paradise. He's tr Johnny streams from Club Amityan and Amiga Paradise. <laughs> Enjoy your Fortnite gaming, guys. I'm gonna go to the vlog meeting. Bye, Lakma. Bye, Mazza. Mazza, I usually play more games. Uh, so today was a, this a big news, man. Like this Amiga, this new operating system for the Amiga, this update was like huge. It's big news, so I wanted to do it. It just came out like yesterday. But um, as I usually do more gaming, so you'll definitely want to like, tune in for a gaming stream. The next one's going to be online multiplayer Amiga games, so it's going to be fun. Shane, always a pleasure, Shane. Thanks to English Amiga Board for everything you do for the Amiga community. EAB rocks. Lemon Amiga rocks. Love you guys. 8-Bit Chief, great to see you. You're welcome. Fishbot, always a pleasure. I love the cat. That's awesome. <laughs> Mandala, thank you so much. Mon I should record these vlog videos. I mean, the vlog meetings, you know, but I just kind of like hang out instead. Alexander, always a pleasure. Party in Tenerife, jump, jump. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stuart, always a pleasure, my man. <laughs> Hazemaker, that's coming, buddy. That's coming for sure. Ariuri, we will send love to Finland from Wog, absolutely. <laughs> Johnny. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bill, don't say goodbye because we're always online Discord. Yeah, Santi, I'm not going to say. Santi and I, Santi, you know, it's always good to hang out in the Discord. But I'll be live again next week, everyone. Thanks to everyone for hanging out today. It was an absolute pleasure. Huge thanks to everyone who worked on Amiga OS 314. Anyone who makes new stuff for the Amiga in 2018 is a hero of mine. Uh, speaking of Finland, man, we're going to take it to Finland right now. Um, you know what? I gotta, I'll look and see. Well, you know what? I should look and see. Are any of my friends streaming? We can do a little raid here. I forgot about that. I almost forgot to raid. Dancing Wolf is streaming, but he, he, he doesn't like it when I raid him if he's not doing, uh, I don't really have it. None of my friends are really streaming right now. Lots of love to North Carolina. Santi, aim sprint. Hello world. Clear screen zero. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't, I'm just going to, uh, 
I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call the stream, guys. Thanks, everyone. Let's take it to Finland. Let's take it to the hot tub. Air Yuri, you're the man. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you. Do you, you guys want to listen to some house music? You know what? Oh, Hitch is streaming. I can raid Hitch. I'll raid Hitch. Hitch is not... No one's playing Amiga stuff right now, unfortunately. Deep House, do you guys want to raid a house? You guys want to... I've never raided Lost in House. Alright, you guys want a house? Alright, we'll, we'll raid Lost in House. I don't think... Lost in House is... Um, she is uh, based in the UK, and she's an awesome streamer, and she's an awesome DJ. Um, she has no idea who I am. I'm just a big fan of her channel, so we'll, we'll raid her. <laughs> but she has no idea who I am. So let's go to Twitch, Amiga Bill, chat, and we'll do the raid. We'll raid Lost in the House. She has no idea who I am. This will be funny. But I, unfortunately, I can't stay. I gotta run. All right, guys, let's take it to the hot tub. Everyone, thanks for watching. See you all next week, and Amiga forever. Just for the